Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. In a report released today, Campaign 2000 strongly condemns this government's 2012 decision to delay scheduled increases in the Ontario Child Benefit and to freeze the minimum wage. They blame these Liberal government decisions for the slow progress in reducing the child poverty in this province. In 2008, the government made grand statements to reduce child poverty by 20 5% over five years, and in 2013, it is absolutely nowhere near achieving what is a very modest goal. How does this government justify its lack of action in reducing child poverty by 25%? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I know that the Minister of Children and Youth Services, who uh, has responsibility for the poverty reduction strategy, will want to uh, speak to the supplementary. But I, I want to just say to the, uh, the member of the third party that she knows full well that it's our government that introduced a poverty reduction strategy in this province. We are the first government to have a poverty reduction strategy, Mr. Speaker. We have an Ontario Child Benefit because we introduced it, Mr. Speaker. And we implemented it, Mr. Speaker, and in fact, the child poverty rate in Ontario fell by n over 9 percent uh, during the height of the recession, Mr. Speaker. So I believe that the, the member of the third party is talking about doing more and doing it more quickly. I understand that that would be, uh, that would be her request, and I thank, the, uh, I thank Campaign 2000 Answer. for their report. But make no mistake, Mr. Speaker, we are committed to poverty reduction. We continue to be committed to poverty reduction and we will move Thank on you. future actions, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, again, to the Premier, uh, the Campaign 2000 document cites a number of other devastating cuts to supports for low-income people made by this government. For example, the 2012 Ontario budget saw the cancellation of benefits for people on social assistance, including health benefits and, tragically, the community startup and maintenance benefit. The government talked about reducing child poverty by 25% in 2008, but this report, Mr. Speaker, makes it crystal clear that part of the blame for its failure lies in policy decisions made by this very government. How does the government finally, Mr. Speaker, explain those decisions to the hundreds of thousands of Question. children who go to bed hungry every night?